5K or 6K gutters, we got you covered. Here's the machine that makes it. It makes a 5K gutter and a 6K gutter, and I'll go through the process, but check it out. All I gotta do is push a button, and it makes the thing. Okay, so how do you attach these things to a house? These little guys, they're called hidden hangers. And they have a lip here that catches on the front of the gutter. They have a screw, and they have this part that locks onto the back of it. So I'll show you how it works. You stick one of these in the gutter, you push it back, and that's it. It sits there. Now, we recommend every two feet you place a hanger in a gutter. If you don't, and you go farther, then it'll fall off your house. If you go closer, I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. You could go a foot, but I wouldn't go six inches. So anyway, that's what we do every two feet on a gutter. Then we come along and use one of these. And you need a drill and you need a bit, six inch bit with a hex, a uh, quarter inch hex driver. And you just basically put it on there, screw it in. And that's what gets your gutter to stay. These are what cause your gutter to stay up. Um, I don't know what just happened with the camera. Now we're gonna talk about this end of the gutter. What do you do to keep it from uh, all the water shooting off there? They're called end caps. And this is a right end cap, and this is a left side end cap. And basically they just get shoved on here. Um, like this. That's it. Now there's a couple ways to secure one of these things. One way, is a bunch of screws. I gotta get the screws. I can't find the screws. Called zip screws. They look like this. And you can use these on the end caps. So this is one way to do it. I'll show you what it looks like. Yeah, you put it in there. And screw it in. The other way is use one of these jobbers. Um, and basically it just creates an imprint into the gutter. So I'll show you what that looks like. I don't know if you can see it, but um, see that little dent there? And then on the other side, right there. So that's the other way to do it. And there's one more way. I got a drill and a pop rivet. And basically, I got to drill through here. Take the pop rivet gun. Jam it in there. And that's what that looks like. So, there's three different ways you can put these on. Oh, and there's another way you can put them on. And, uh... If you don't do any of these, you can just put it on there and it'll just fly right off the side. So that's option stupid. That's what I call it. And then let me show you how we cut these off. And there's the gutter. So that's it. It's gutter done. We got this gutter made. Now we need an outlet. So I'll show you what an outlet looks like. This is an oval sized outlet, but uh, and this is undersized for a 6K gutter, but I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna show it to you anyway. I need a pencil. Oh, almost cut my finger off. You take this outlet, you put it upside down. This whole thing upside down. You gotta put it towards the end because that's where the water's gonna be. You can go all the way to the end, or you can go right here. Whatever you want to do. Center it off. Mark the inside. I got snips, jam them in the hole. Cut it out. Um, so there's the hole. I'm gonna take this outlet, make sure it fits in there. So, we got the hole, you see it? That's where the water's gonna go. This little guy, see that guy? He goes right in the hole. Ta-da! It 
it's a miracle. Okay, now here's the deal. A couple ways you can put this in. Um, zip screw, which is what we did the one time. So I'll show you what the zip screw does again. You can put the zip screw from the bottom. Let's put that on the little thing. You can put the zip screw from the bottom. You can put the zip screw from the top down. That's one way. The other way is a pop rivet. Put the drill this hole first. Pop rivet time. It's already in there. So the things we use, crimpers, snips, pop rivet gun, drill with a six inch extension, quarter inch hex driver. Um, another drill, eighth inch bit, pencil. I should probably have a tape measure um, and that's it. The things you need for a gutter, hidden hangers, outlets, pop rivet, zip screws, some sealant, an end cap, this is what we do with sealies, like that, a little squeeze tube, and squeeze it all around here, and then put another end cap on there, and you're done. And don't forget coffee. You got your shell for gooder.